If you write down your goal, you automatically put yourself in the position to be in the top 3%. When it was my turn, I buckled up both chin straps, I put that ball in my hand, I squeezed it as tight as I could, I ran full speed, and I hit him first. I hit him first, and you know what? The players, they didn't like that, but they respected me because of it. The reason that I ended up making the team, and some of the guys that, that made the team before me that didn't last very long, the reason that I made the team was because I wanted it more. I wanted it more than everybody else. When was the last time you went after something and you truly, I mean you truly, wanted it more than everybody else? Fear, it is the number one dream killer. Fear will paralyze you. Fear will stop you in your tracks. Fear will keep you from doing the things that you were meant to do. Every single one of you in this room, you were given a dream. It was given to you and nobody can see it like you. Nobody can dance like you. Nobody can talk like you. Nobody can walk like you. Nobody can play like you. See, most people, everybody out there, they allow fear to outweigh their success. I fail all the time, but that's why I talked about building relationships and having that mentor. Because when you fall, you gotta get back up and you gotta make sure you're going in the right direction. You gotta get back up and learn from it and learn from it and do it and do it and do it until you get it. But I was always told the definition of luck is when preparedness meets opportunity. There was an opportunity and there wasn't one other person on that team that was more prepared than I was, so I took it. It's the person that wakes up every day and says, I'm fulfilling my purpose. I'm fulfilling my passion. I can wake up every day and say, you know what? I'm gonna go and do that now. I'm gonna go and write a book now. I'm gonna go and work on a movie now. It's a great feeling and each and every one of you guys can have that feeling. And what's super funny about the whole thing is when I got to Ole Miss, we, I never heard of a walk-on ever getting a scholarship, ever. After I've left, multiple walk-ons have gotten scholarships. Multiple walk-ons have gotten scholarships. Nobody ever ran a sub four minute mile. Nobody ever ran it. Scientists said it was physically impossible for a human being to run a sub four minute mile until Roger Bannister came along. Roger Bannister came along and he ran a three minute and 59 second mile. And after he ran that mile, what's significant about this is that 20,000 people including high school students, have run a sub four minute mile since. What changed? The fact that he believed in himself. And people always ask me, they go, Richie, what was the hardest part about earning a full division one football scholarship? Or what was the hardest part about writing a number one bestseller? What was the hardest part about starting a successful business? And I always tell them the hardest part wasn't earning the scholarship. The hardest part wasn't writing the book. The hardest part wasn't starting the business. The hardest part was believing it could happen to me. It was hard for me to believe in myself. But when was the last time you went after a goal that you had and you truly, I mean truly, believed in yourself and go after it like your life depends on it? Why? Because it does.